you can't make these stories up so uh, <laughs> I just interviewed Kevin Vickers bang bang Vickers and look who's and look who's there of the of French people are, are still in decline so why uh, do, how and do you what we have is nothing yeah. to do with that like I'd fight just as hard for that as any francophone would oh, yeah. I believe they should have you know their language of choice their papers in, in choice um, I've worked healthcare for 20 years when somebody comes into me and can't speak English I will help you in your language of choice we have nothing against we're not trying to take anything or step back in that uh, and that's where the politicians need to come in because when you speak to any other one of them, one on one, um, or and francophones, they're having the same issues. So it's not about taking any and stepping back. It's just about jobs. It basically comes down to um, anglophone and francophone unilinguals should be able to get a job in in uh, in government and in uh, and good, get a good paying job. And right now it's not. The testing is is messed up. Uh, there's flaws in the testing. And there's flaws in the edu right from the education system. You talked about the French, you know, being able to learn English better. You're, immer you're immersed in English all the time. Um, I spoke French, you know, a lot better when I worked at the hospital because I was immersed in it all the time. When you get away from that, it's very easy to lose, sadly. Um, but it's just a fact. And because English people don't are not immersed in it all the time, they have, they do have a hard time. But even with the testing now, when we see the testing in um, in hospitals where um, French-speaking employees have to get or applying for job in English uh, positions, they don't have to only take the uh, the uh, the oral test. They also have to take the written test. Which you know, I've had employees that have worked with me for years, and their English is as good as mine, but they're not able to, to pass the test. So what we're seeing is people not getting the right jobs um, for what they can do for the job that they are doing and only uh, language alone. And it's not fair on either level. But, uh, Mr. Vickers just said that uh, maybe two language, a person that is able to speak two language, it's kind of a, it's kind of a talent. It's, it's an asset. Actually. Yeah, it's an asset. That's right. Yeah. It's an asset that people that speak only one language don't have. Yeah. So. Do you want to keep that asset in the public function? Absolutely. Have but, being but able to speak both languages is definitely an asset. You're, you're opening the door to reforming the uh, the uh, the criteria to, to get a job and not being able not uh, not make bilingualism uh, a critical element. That that's that's a, one it of the. It is a critical element, but it's not more critical than being able to do the job. So right now we're seeing. When people get a job, it's based on language, and if you can do the job, it's just an added bonus because it's not it's not a priority and it's not essential, and it should be. Um, and there's lots of training and stuff that they should be doing after that they that they could be offering the jobs can, and the government should be offering the employees. So if you can get a two instead of a two plus, my my language didn't change a whole lot from my two to a two plus. Uh, I've never been criticized on being able to um, speak to anybody in their language when they come into the hospital to see me uh, and to register. The testing is flawed. I got asked about moose, like moose season, moose hunting on my on my test. It has nothing to do with you know with the hospital or registering patients. So it has to be the testing has to be looked at, and it's not to take um, the necessity of being bilingual away. But like I say, if you work in a department and there's five people in that department, if you have one or two in an English community like this that can speak French, then that's all you need. If you're down in Karaket and you're in a liquor store and there's three people working, and as long as, you know, if you have one that's unilingual and you have two and three that's French and you're in a French community, then if they can't speak English, then they can speak, you know, their language of their choice. So it's, they're still being served in the language of choice and we would not touch that. Okay. Um, but it's just about being able to work. Uh, the 
want to add something, something important, and I also want to ask you oh, something important you want to add. Cut to the chase. Are you a bigot? Charles, <laughs> do you know the answer to that? What do you do with the bigots of the party? The bigots of the party? What do you do with the bigots, the members that really think the French should return to the old ways that had no rights? So and there's bigots in every party, not just mm -hmm. ours. Um, and it's us, it's, it's us as leaders that it's our job to make sure that, you know, this is touched. Before we came along, nobody touched these issues. You know, you go to your unions and to your bosses with, you know, I didn't get a job or I can't get employment and they don't, nobody touches it. Nobody, everybody's afraid to touch it. For the first time, everybody says, well, it has to be dealt with, but nobody would touch it. For the the ambulance time. workers, that was an issue. The what? The ambulance workers, that the was ambulance, an issue. Yeah, that is an issue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it possible to just uh, ask her? Okay. Do you want to say something in French or... Uh... Oh, this should be good. I want to hear this. Uh, <laughs> okay, come Madame, come here. Madame, Madame, come here. Go ahead. We're there. We're all there. Uh, just, just yeah, you yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Come on, it's all, it's all edited anyway. Uh, yeah. Can you say um, some... Can you say... Can you count to 10 in French? <laughs> Je peux, je peux faire ça en français. Yeah, just a few words in French, maybe. Okay, just let me think then. Je sais, c'est une belle journée. C'est une belle journée pour une élection. C'est une belle journée. Pour une élection. C'est bon à voir, à voir toi aussi. Ah, toi Parce aussi. Tu ici. Ah, tu sais jamais, you ce que je vois. Oh. <laughs> c'est de... Long time, no pas vu, toi. Long time, long time, long time. You can just look at me. You want to add, say something for the people that are will listen to the to this uh, interview tonight? I just want to thank you. I want to. In French. Oh, um, merci à mes machines. Merci à tout pour uh, pour votre uh, service et pour pour votre uh, appa, um, um, Je sais pas. Oui, oui. C'est <laughs> juste merci à tout. <laughs> merci à vous. Okay. Now, can you say that on Chiac? Un chiac? <laughs> chiac. Tu comprends pas. <laughs>